When you consider that most of our county's climate is categorized as desert, you can easily understand the allure of a mountain waterfall surrounded by some of the prettiest San Diego area country there is. But the falls at Green Valley in the 25,000 acre Cuyamaca Rancho State Park is but one of the things which attracts the park's 600,000 yearly visitors. It has 250 archaeological sites. Uh, most of them have been mapped. Uh, the coniferous forest and the oaks are almost virgin in most of the park. It's unusual to have a wilderness so close to such an urban area. Proximity to an urban area such as ours can have its disadvantages. You guessed it, crowds. At the Green Valley and Paso Picacho campgrounds, nearly 170 campsites fill up with no problem over the weekends in the summer. And the park's reputation has spread to the L.A. area. It's our third day. We got here Monday night. What do you think of it? It's beautiful. We didn't realize that, you know, there, was the, there were these beautiful mountains down here. It's really... What else do you like to do? What have you been doing so far? Um, we went down to the, uh, to the Green Valley um, State Park down there and went in the falls you know, played in the pools down there. It was, it was really nice. Really nice is perhaps an understatement. The park has 110 miles of trails for hiking and horseback. Elevations range from 3,500 to 6,500 feet. In between are coniferous forests, alpine meadows, a really surprising variety of terrain and plant cover as well as an array of birds and other wildlife. Green Valley is of historical and cultural significance to the San Diego area in general. The first inhabitants, of course, were the Indians, the Kumeyaay tribe. Then came the Spanish, the first white settler arrived in the mid-1800s. The land was once on the San Antonio to San Diego mail line. 100 years ago, folks paid 200 bucks to get from Texas to the coast in coaches and on the backs of mules. The story of the land and its people is told and illustrated in a park museum not far from either camping area. A geology, uh, astronomy, uh, I do a program on the mammals of Cuyamaca. Rangers conduct regular programs for kids and anyone else interested in learning about the park and what's in it. San Diego City and county school groups use the park year around. Kids learn among other things why not to feed squirrels and jays. And then when it comes wintertime when the tourists aren't here, the, the squirrels and the stellar jays eat all the food that the bobcats and coyotes normally would eat, and there's none left for the bobcats and coyotes. I've learned about different kind, kinds of rocks, different plants, different animals, how they, how they fly, all that. Do you like it not in the country? Yeah. What is it you like about it? Mm, it's just uh, fresh air. Fresh air, mm -hmm. no cars, no freeways. Yeah, no pollution. <laughs> no pollution, and lots of animals. Many of the park's animals, and certainly all of the plant life it has to offer, can be taken in simply by walking around. Or you can walk up the trails that lead to several mountain peaks. Stonewall is an area landmark, and you don't have to be an expert to get to its top. You know, when we almost got to up to the top, we saw some stairs. We went up them, and we were at the top. Rancho Cuyamaca State Park is the kind of place that keeps bringing people back. Bill Doherty's kids have done a bit of growing up here on family vacations to the park for more than a decade. Just like it here. It's good for the kids and they could run. We first started to come up and, uh, you know, they were that high. Uh -huh. It's a good spot for a family. There is good news about getting into here. Unlike beach camps, you can get reservations for Cuyamaca as late as two days before coming here if you visit during the week. There is serious competition for weekend reservations, but without the eight-week wait at the beach. Rangers warn not to drop by without reservations when a phone call can guarantee a site. It's a good idea anyway. I would hate to think of someone taking the time and taking off work and packing up the family and driving all this distance just to have me turn them around because I'm full. How far would you have to travel for scenes like these, if not for the Cuyamacas, the Lagunas, and Mount Palomar? Even those who've lived their lives in this area still find it hard to believe that an hour or a little more by car from downtown San Diego, and you're really away from it all. This is nice. I like it here. It's close, and yet it's like it's far away. Mm -hmm.